Hello, I'm here today with Mr. Kawasu from Hamamatsu and we're going to talk about some products they're exhibiting at the ID Tech X show. So first thing we'd like to talk about is this ultraviolet source. Yeah. So can you please give me a bit of an introduction about what yeah. this is used for and mm -hmm. what kind of wavelengths this emits? Okay. So our light source uh, wavelength is uh, 365, 385 and uh, 395. So, but our advantage is uh, uh, air cooling technology. So we have a patent for the uh, air cooling. So uh, we can we can achieve uh, the high intensity, so 20 watt per square inch. So by uh, air cooling. So that is the advantage. So and we have some kinds of uh, UV LED light source. The very compact version, like this. So, I'm wondering, what kind of applications are these used for? Because I've used one of these in my lab before mm. to uh, surface treatment yeah, yeah, when yeah. I'm making some electronic devices. Yeah, yeah. So, what are the typical customers you're targeting this product at? Uh, so, uh, so as, as you said, the application is uh, so the curing for the uh, coating for the electronics yeah. so, or uh, printer. Uh, so ink curing so is useful. Uh, okay. Very easy. Yeah. So you can use it for surface treatment before you deposit something, or you can use it for curing the ink. Yes. So two purposes. So would would these both of these? Would you typically use it for a research laboratory, or do you also have some customers who are using this in, for example, a production line as they are doing some sort of printed electronic device? Ah uh, yes, it is used uh, in the production line. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I wa was wondering is what kind of wavelengths are these two light sources giving out? What what UV wavelength is it? Deep UV or is it quite a broadband emission? Mm. So oh, what does it mean? Sorry. Sorry. Oh, uh, just uh, what kind of like is it like two sixty nanometer? Do you know? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Three six five and three eight five and three nine five. Okay, yeah. I see. Okay, so different types of uh, yes. wavelength peaks. Yeah. Okay, excellent. So you've also got another product on display here that I'm interested in. Yeah. So you mentioned this is some sort of x-ray source, yeah. right? Yeah. So can you tell us a bit about this product here? Uh, so, so it is a uh, uh, soft, uh, soft x-ray light source. Uh, so uh, it's for the neutralization, so in the atmosphere condition. So. Uh, so usually the neutralization uh, application uses the uh, coronal coronal discharge light source. Okay. Uh, so coronal discharge light source uh, generates the uh, dust. Okay. So but on the other hand, the uh, soft X-ray light source uh, there is no dust and uh, so there is no airflow. Yeah. So it's very useful. Okay, yeah, I can see a very big difference between the, the one way you're using the X-ray source and the one which is just left on its own. So typically, what kind of application is this used for? Who are your target customers? Uh, so the application is uh, so semiconductor process. So that is a mainly uh, main application. Okay. So, uh, uh, another that's uh, uh, fi uh, film. Thin so, film? Yes, film, uh, film manufacturing process. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Oh, you mean, sorry, let me just uh, be sure about this. You mean film as in like a, a, a imaging film or a, some sort of film deposition? Uh, film deposition. Film so, deposition. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I see, I understand. So, yeah, okay. Rolling the film, so in this case, the yeah. charge is generated. Right, so, okay. So it emits uh, this part and the uh, neutralized, so right. it's very effective. Okay, that's very interesting. Yeah, I can see this is useful for a lot of customers. Thank you very much for Thank taking you. part in this interview. Really appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. Thank you.